Hi. Um, as World Backup Day is upon us again, I just wanted to um, reiterate the importance of doing backups of all your data. Um, so today I wanted to cover off a, um, a pretty good setup on how to back up everything if you have a single NAS uh, from us. Um, there are many options. We've covered those in a series of videos we did for World Backup Day last year. Um, today I wanted to talk about snapshots um, and snapshot replica, which is our replicating tool to get snapshots from your NAS. Um, so snapshots are a function, um, a feature in every single QNAP NAS on sale today. So it's a standard feature. Um, they're block based, um, lots of versioning options. You can restore with a single click. It is really, really easy to do everything with them. Um, today I wanted to show you how I've got it set up. Um, now the, the only thing with snapshots is you can only back them up to another QNAP. Um, so if you've got a QNAP, you need another one to back them up to. Now, I, I started off this video by saying I've only got a single QNAP here. Um, so this is to show you how to um, still do off-site backups, um, even if you only have a single QNAP. So my first step was I went to a um, cloud provider. So in this case, I went with uh, AWS. Um, so with AWS here, I've started up a, an instance. I've just called it uh, nice and imaginatively uh, uh, Q, QNAP UK, Craig YouTube. Uh, so this is an instance of our QUTS cloud option. So this is an option to run our QTS operating system, um, but on non-QNAP hardware, so you can virtualize it. Uh, so what I did here is I picked an instance. So I think this is uh, two CPU cores with two gigs of RAM. Um, doesn't need to be very fancy. Um, so here I've got that running. Um, up on the, uh, uh, the the AWS cloud uh, feature here with the EC2. Um, so here I've allocated some storage. So when you read through all these many options, instances is where the compute is managed. And then down here in the volume section is where the storage is managed. So I gave it a 48 gig uh, boot drive and then I gave it a 200 gig volume just to illustrate the point of doing the backups. It doesn't need to be big for what I'm using. Um, so here's my two um, volumes that I've got assigned to that, uh, that instance, that, that bit of compute. Um, and the other thing I've done is in the security groups, this is very much like the firewall, um, but for your um, instances. Uh, so here I've attached this instance uh, of the um, security group to um, my instance of compute. So this is what I've got running here. And I've just added a few ports. So a port range, uh, this is for snapshot replication. So I've added the full port range. Um, I've got SSH forwarded through and a couple of extra ports for web uh, GUI. Um, sort of access so that I can log into the virtual machine. Now when we go up to the top with the instances we can see all sorts of information, the IP address it's been given, the, the host name it's been given, things like that. So all I've really done is copied that host name and pasted it into a different web browser um, and I've gone through the full installation process here to get to, to my NAS effectively. Um, so this is one that is not um, owned by me as such. It's it's in the cloud. It's running elsewhere. And um, you can see from the domain there that it's the EC2 on um, Amazon AWS. So that's what's what I've got running here. We can see the two storage uh, lumps of space that I've I've given it here. So the top one is the uh, the small sort of system boot disk, and then down here I've got the 200 gig uh, data volume that I've got assigned. And so in here, I've just set it up. Um, I've made sure SSH is enabled because that's needed for snapshot replica. But this is a full blown uh, QNAP uh, NAS operating system, uh, but it's completely hosted um, on the Amazon AWS service. There's many other options for hosting this. Uh, you can run it on physical virtual machine um, platforms. So things like um, VMware, Hyper-V, Proxmox, anything like KVM. Um, you can even uh, run them inside um, a NAS. So here's our TVS H1288X and inside virtualization station here. Um, I've also got a virtual machine here for QUTS Cloud. So you can actually run it um, within another NAS at another site if you needed to. Um, but that is an option to also virtualize a QNAP OS within a QNAP, which is a nice feature if you wanted to test it out. Um, so that's how I've, uh, I've got it running right now. So I've got a TVS-H1288X. Um, that I'm going to um, do snapshots on. So my local backup is going to be um, snapshots and nine times out of 10, that's what I'll be able to restore from if I accidentally lose a file or, or something happens to my data, I can usually refer to the local snapshots. The snapshot replica is if something does happen to the NAS as a whole, um, you've got that data offsite at another location. 
Um, so one thing I will say when you're going through the uh, the Amazon setup, um, the easiest way to install it on most of the providers, if you're going with like Amazon Azure or somebody like that, is they usually have a marketplace. And in the marketplace, you can just search QUTS Cloud, and there it is. So you can go in there, click launch a new instance, and it just asks you where do you want to deploy it and pick some basic options. We've got tutorials for this um, up on our website uh, for whatever platform you're looking to launch it on. Uh, when you first launch it, um, it will need a license key. So it you step into your uh, QNAP license manager. If you want a free trial of this, um, get in touch with us. Um, information in the um, uh, details below the video there so that you can apply for a, uh, a trial license for this. Um, we'll need your QID or your QNAP ID email address and we'll be able to issue that to you. Um, so what you'll see there once you've done that is when you log into license.qnap.com, you'll see all your licenses um, and then you'll click on the QUTS Cloud one. You can organize it just by the QUTS Cloud options if you want. You click on the one you want and under the activation and installation option, you'll be able to get the key. I've already activated this one, so it's just showing me when I activated it rather than the key. Um, but you would normally see the key here that you can copy and paste into the QUTS Cloud uh, option for the first setup screen so that it can activate that license. And um, so the basic setup on the main NAS here is if you go into your storage and snapshot section, you'll be able to go down to your storage slash snapshots menu. Um, and here I'm going to focus on uh, Data Vol 4. So that's in my storage pool 2 down here. Uh, so here I've got lots of snapshots happening, snapshot replicas saying finished. But the primary function here is I want to get a local snapshot schedule set up. So if I right click on the volume, I'm going to go to Snapshot Manager. And here we can see I've got snapshots. I've got one from yesterday, six from today. Um, and I can click in these at any time point that I want. So I can see 1046, 1051. So I've got them going every five minutes here. Um, so you can see that at the top with the schedule. So on my setup here, I've got schedule snapshot. Enable it, repeat every five minutes. Um, I've turned off enable smart snapshot just so that I can... Um, demo lots of snapshot uh, restore points but I would generally recommend keeping that enabled uh, basically it won't take a snapshot if the data didn't change um, I've told it to not do that but I would recommend keeping enabled smart snapshot enabled uh, your snapshot retention you've got smart versioning maximum numbers you can tune this to however you want to keep your snapshots um, so I've got the scheduling set up there so I've got um, everything's happy everything's doing backups locally here uh, so if I come down to the snapshot section, we should see lots of smiley faces. Uh, all my volumes, uh, pools, uh, all my, my data is, is snapshotted locally. So tick there, I've got local protection, everything's happy. Now it's not really backed up until you get it off site. So that's where the next section down comes in, which is snapshot replica. Uh, so here on storage pool two, where I do have the replica set up, um, that's showing here that I've got a QUTS cloud replica job. Um, it's going off to that EC2 um, Amazon AWS section there. Um, and the only scheduling that I've set is that it will take a replica of the local snapshots whenever a snapshot is taken on that local NAS. So it's not that this is just running every 10 minutes or anything like that. As soon as a local snapshot happens, it will send it to the remote site. So we can see here that everything's finished. And over here, you've got a single click button that you can click revert on. So if I was to click revert, so let's say something did happen to the local data on my NAS, I could click revert. It's going to choose the snapshot location automatically as remote. You can go in here and change it to local if you need to. Uh, but you've got the remote option and I can see an exact mirror between the two. So here we can see um, I've got seven local snapshots now, one over there if I go to the local one we'll see that that absolutely matches as well. Um, so throughout the video here, you'll probably see that number increasing because every five minutes it's going to take another one. Um, but the local and remote are going to be updated as quick as possible to make sure that they're the same data. But you can revert the volume snapshot here so I can go down and pick whichever one I want and click revert volume snapshot. Um, so now I'll give you a quick sort of demonstration as to why I like um, using the uh, snapshot method um, for recovering data if you were to say accidentally deleted or something was to happen to it. Uh, so here I'm in the data vault 4 um, that's got the snapshots in my data share. Uh, so here I've got some files. So I've got a, um, a Ubuntu install ISO, a Windows install ISO. So let's say I come in here and I just delete the Ubuntu install ISO. Just get rid of it completely. It's not there. It's absolutely gone from the NAS. So it's not no longer on the NAS. Now at any point I can go and check um, the snapshots. There's many ways to do it. You can come to the snapshot uh, section right here, go down to data vol 4 snapshot, pick which date and time you want the snapshot from. So I could go back to the oldest one. 
it's not there so I can go back to a newer one. Oh, there's my data share and there's all my snapshots with that Ubuntu file I, I accidentally deleted. So here I can just right click on that file and it says I can restore file to. So that would be picking a new location to put it. Maybe I don't want it back in the location it was originally or I can just click restore file. Um, so here it's just saying I'm going to restore it. So it says you're about to restore this ISO file. Um, do you want to continue? Um, yes, I'll do that. Um, so it says it successfully asked for restoring the selected items. So now it's talking to the snapshot manager, um, pulling that file back from the snapshot and putting it back. And it's not an insignificant file, it's five gigs, but let's go back to the data folder and we can see that that file is now back. Now imagine something happened to your whole NAS, something was um, lost all your data locally, maybe a careless user did something, could be something more malicious. Um, but this way you've got your data off-site as well with the replica. So rather than going through this method, you would come into your storage and snapshots, um, come down to your snapshot replica, you can see the data and you can hit that revert button so that you can get the data back um, using that method as well. So it's very easy to manage. Uh, if I come over to the QUTS cloud option, uh, we can go down and see that. So if I come all the way down here to the snapshot vault option, um, I can see some basic data about the uh, the replica as well. So Snapshot Vault is where uh, snapshots from um, remote NAS are stored on this NAS. Um, snapshot Replica is the act of getting it to the other NAS. So if I was to look at Snapshot Vault on the, uh, the main NAS, the physical NAS, it's going to be empty. I'm not sending any snapshots from any other NAS to this one. Um, but in Snapshot Replica, it's populated with a lot of information. If I come to QUTS Cloud, the snapshot replica screen will be blank because I've got no snapshot replica happening from this NAS to somewhere else, but the snapshot vault is populated with information. Um, so we can see here that it's syncing now. It looks like another snapshot just happened on the local physical NAS there. So it's doing a sync. It's getting the data across as quick as possible. Um, so it started that replication, trying to get the remote copy um, to match the local copy as quick as possible. So as soon as um, a new snapshot is detected, um, it's going to send it over. Uh, this one will take a little longer because I did just delete a five gig file and put it back. So this one's gonna take more than just a, a flash in the pan um, uh, copy over. Um, this one I did actually change some data. So this one's gonna take, it's gonna go as quick as my internet allows basically. Um, so this is now trying to upload that five gig file across because it's, it's basically changed since the last snapshot. Um, but that's that's how you would do the uh, the, the backup tasks using um, uh, QUTS Cloud. So um, the QNAP snapshot method is really fantastic. Um, many more restore points. The quickest way to restore your data than any backup option that there is out there. Um, now. The only restriction here is that with QUTS Cloud, it is a um, sort of a the same platform as QTS. So the NAS that you want to use QUTS Cloud for for this does have to be a QTS physical NAS as well. So that's why I've got the TVS H1288X here. You can see at the bottom left. Um, I've got it running on QTS. It is capable of running QUTS Hero as well. Um, but you can only back up QUTS Hero NAS to another QUTS Hero NAS if you're using the snapshot replication features. Um, now, whether that's um, the snapshot replica or whether it's SnapSync that's also available in QUTS Cloud, we've done other videos on that one as well. Um, there are different options, but you wouldn't be able to use QUTS Cloud uh, to back up the QUTS Hero with this method. You can use other methods like hybrid backup sync or or something like that to do a, um, a backup or, or a sync of your data from that application. But the snapshots um, has to be sort of same OS to same OS. So QTS will work with QUTS Cloud, um, but it's just a really great option um, to, to get the data off. Um, again, many other options to backup your NAS, which we have covered in the past, uh, but doing snapshot replicas is one of the uh, one of the best ways to get it off site, especially if you don't own um, another QNAP NAS. You can host it in any of these sort of online platforms uh, that, that offer compute or virtual private servers, things like that. Um, so again, we're using Amazon AWS for this example, but you could use really any um, any platform that's out there. And again, we do have uh, lots of instructions on how to set up our QUTS cloud platform.
Um, I know I only gave it a small amount of capacity, but for the demo I didn't need to give it more. But you can of course give it as as much power as you want. The licenses are for QUTS Cloud are based on how many processing cores you want to give it. Um, so the license that I had there I think was for uh, the 24 cores. Um, but you can get them um, for a very low cost if you want just a couple of cores to go there. Um, I think the one I, I, I specified here was only two cores anyway. So yeah, we can see here one core, two threads. Um, uh, from the Amazon AWS platform with only two gig of RAM. It doesn't need a lot. Um, the dashboard here, you can see I'm not even using uh, more than half the RAM. So it's very, very lightweight uh, on the remote platform to get, uh, uh, to get running. Um, so yeah, that's uh, using snapshot uh, replica and snapshots to, to back up your NAS, um, especially to back it up offsite as well. Um, obviously, if you do have a two physical QNAPs and one of them is remote, uh, you can just do it directly to that, that QNAP NAS. You don't need to use QTS Cloud. Uh, but yeah, you are able to do snapshot replica between uh, two QTS NAS or QUTS Hero to QUTS Hero or QTS to QUTS Cloud. Uh, so that's all the options we have for that one. Um, hopefully that, that helps you uh, sort of uh, set up your own backup strategy uh, but this is um, uh, snapshot replica with local snapshot backups um, using QUTS cloud on Amazon AWS. If anyone's got any questions let me know in the comments section down below and again if you want to try it uh, get in touch we can give you a, a trial license to, to have a have a play around with QUTS cloud if you want to. Again you can use it on your local NAS um, in virtualization station if your NAS supports it. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for watching and again, let us know if you've got any questions in the comments section down below. Thank you. Bye.